It's five o'clock, and you're watching Good Day OK. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Good Day OK. You might have heard some rumbles of thunder this morning or last night. Yeah, our friends out in Visai got hit pretty hard. We're going to talk about some of that some of that weather that people had experienced and let you know when we're going to see some changes here in the next couple days. We want to get to Jennifer Falsetti now, get your traffic and weather together. Good morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yeah, those storms really packing a punch, especially to the north and west early this morning. In fact, 80 mile per hour winds recorded in parts of Elk City and Sealing early this morning. These storms, they are off to the east. These storms, they mean business and they are booking it. These are severe warned right now, impacting folks in Bartlesville, still seeing some showers hours as you can see in the Enid Medford area, Stillwater, Ponca City, seeing some rain here this morning. These storms and this this rain that you're seeing, nothing severe right now. Uh, those severe warm storms are now up in far northeast Oklahoma and going into Kansas, and they are moving pretty quickly out of our area. So that's good news here this morning. But again, 80 mile per hour winds and hail recorded with some of these severe warm storms earlier this morning in parts of west and northwest Oklahoma. Things right now looking good, though across the Oklahoma City Metro. A live look outside with our Trey Pro Skycam network. It's clear here in the Metro, a little cloudy, warm and muggy, a lot like yesterday. Those storms moving out of here and that heat moving on in 85 by your noon and 91 by three o'clock this afternoon. At least it could get a little hotter than that, but we are expecting temperatures mainly in the 90s. Those summer temperatures are going to stick around today and tomorrow. Then more severe weather possible for your Friday and much cooler and dry for your weekend ahead. I'll break down your next weather maker coming up in just 10 minutes. Pike Pass steer clear. Traffic updated. It's 501. Map looks good. Green for a lot of the Oklahoma City Metro. Not seeing any major issues for you as you step out the door. We do have intersection work hanging on in Edmond. This is for 2nd Street and Bryant Avenue. You'll see reduced lanes in each direction and varying lane closures hanging on through the summer here. You'll see a little bit of delay during those heavier traffic times as well. Let's take it live to our Pike Pass steer clear traffic camera. This is I-40 and I-235. Roadways looking good. Never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. We've got breaking news this morning. Crews battling a house fire for several hours now. Fox 25's Victor Park is live at the scene in Bethany oh, no. near Northwest 36th Street and MacArthur Boulevard, and it doesn't look oh, too good no. here, Victor. Well, Adam and Jasmine, there are still a handful of firefighters out here as they try to put out any spot fires here at this home behind me along the uh, 6500 buck of Northwest 32nd Street. And basically what we know so far, they've been out here for at least four hours. They were called to this house uh, around 1 a.m. And when they got here, they said it was fully involved and it actually spread to an apartment building. Both homes, they say, were occupied but everyone uh, got out safely. You got several fire uh, fires from Yukon, Bethany, and War Acres. Uh, because it was fully involved, they say they were on in defensive mode. But again, unfortunately, unfor uh, rather, no one was hurt, but crews are still out here again, putting out these uh, spot fires. It's really, uh, they say it has been a challenging morning dealing with this structure fire. We will stay out here and give you the very latest as this develops. So we'll send it back to you for now. We got storms causing power outages this morning. Here's a live look from og &E's outage map so far. There are more than 3000 customers without power. We're going to keep an eye on those numbers for you all morning long. We'll have updates for you right here on Good Day OK. And new this morning, a former Oklahoma County detention officer is facing charges after the investigation of an inmate's death. Jesse Paul Knight is accused of leaving his assigned post and failing to conduct required site checks when inmate Gabriel Yalartai died by suicide. Knight is also accused of forging the logbook by recording site checks he never performed. Nearly 200 Norman residents filed a lawsuit against the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority, accusing the agency of violating the state's Open Meeting Act. The lawsuit takes aim at two meetings about the Access Oklahoma Turnpike Project, claiming the OTA kept the public in the dark 
by leaving out important details out of their meeting agendas. It's the second lawsuit filed against the agency just this month. And the most restrictive abortion ban in the state expected to pass this week. A bill banning abortion from the moment of conception will be heard in the House today. Lawmakers say this ban goes further than the current law, which bans abortion at six weeks. The law also allows anyone to sue an abortion provider. It outlaws all abortions at any time and also um, provides the so-called bounty hunter provision, which allows anyone and everyone to take these matters into their own hands and enforce this law. Lawmakers against the bill are concerned that the language is just too broad, something this could impact women going to fertility doctors hoping to use in vitro fertilization to have a family. Governor Kevin Stitt giving an update on his plan to bring a major company to Oklahoma. The governor says they're not releasing the name yet, but it's widely believed to be Panasonic. Stitt says he's optimistic about this project. I have an international strategy that if you need a U.S. presence, that Oklahoma is the right spot to build a manufacturing facility. We've got everything that you need to be successful and to touch all parts of the United States. So there's a lot of foreign companies that want uh, business in the United States, and I'm trying to invite them to Oklahoma. The House passed the LEAD Act yesterday. It's a nearly $1 billion incentive program to bring big companies here. Oklahoma lawmakers want to decide how to spend $1.8 billion from the American Rescue Plan. Both chambers passing bills that would create the statewide recovery fund, the first step in giving lawmakers control about the funding. Democrats say the governor can't be trusted with those funds, but Republicans say they're working with the governor on this. So we feel like that we need to be involved as well as future legislators. Uh, so the money that we give out to the people will stay with the people and we do it in harmony with the ARPA rules. The governor released a statement saying, quote, I greatly appreciate the legislature's commitment to work through the summer to distribute ARPA funds with full transparency. I expect comprehensive strategic ideas that make a generational impact rather than piecemeal projects driven by special interests and lobbyists. Well, a state senator wants to make June 14th President Donald Trump Day here in Oklahoma. Senator Nathan Dom selected that day because it is the former president's birthday. He says if lawmakers can designate golf day and name a state horse, then he believes we should take time to honor the former president. But we don't know yet if the Senate will actually consider this. We got you back with a warning from the Lexington Police Department. They say scammers are trying to get your information through a satellite TV scam. Victims say the suspect claimed to work for DirecTV and tried to get credit card information and social security numbers. Officers say they caught up with the guy and told him he needed a permit. Advise him that he's uh, uh, not able to do that in city limits without uh, prior authorization from the city, which he did not have. Um, and then he decided to stop what he was doing and uh, have someone come and pick him up. Police say they don't have reports that anyone fell victim to the scam. The Ellison Hotel hosting a grand reopening event today. Reopened guests earlier this month after it was damaged by the Kent apartment fire in February. Now the hotel inviting the community to experience the hotel from 415 to 645. They're also offering a chance to win a free hotel package. Fox 25 is teaming up with the Oklahoma Blood Institute and casinos across the state to save lives. Today, you can donate blood at the Remington Park Racetrack and Casino from 11 a.m. to 3 or the Thunderbird Casino from noon to 4. All donors will get a $10 casino voucher plus a ticket to the OKC Zoo, uh, Frontier City, and the Science Museum. Now your Fox 25 Storm Watch forecast from the Muffin Roofing Weather Center. Powerful storms moving through Oklahoma early this morning, bringing with it damaging winds and some hail. Here's a live look right now at that radar. These storms are booking it and they mean business. They are right now moving quickly out of our area and into far eastern Oklahoma. Some of those into Kansas. You can see there is still one severe warm thunderstorm impacting uh, the Bartlesville area right now, but that should be out of there here uh, soon within the next hour or so. Seeing some showers as well in the Enid area 
area between Medford. That is not severe at this time. Things are looking clear in the metro. That's the good news here and temperatures 70 degrees right now in Oklahoma City. 70 is really across the board. Some cooler spots though in northwest Oklahoma seeing temperatures in the 60s to start out your day. If you are headed to the bus stop this morning, those temperatures right around 70 degrees. It warms up quickly by lunchtime 85 91 for your afternoon. So it's going to be another warm and sticky one out there today. And the same is true for most of the day tomorrow, but we do have our next weather maker to talk about that's going to be bringing us some thunderstorm chances for your Friday. Severe weather is possible with these storms and it will be ushering in some big changes for your weekend. I'll break down the timing coming up in just 10 minutes. Pike Pass steer clear. Traffic update. It is 510. Map looks pretty good. We're seeing a lot of green out there. No major delays or crashes popping up. We do have surface work hanging on for eastbound John Kilpatrick Turnpike. The merge lane to northbound Highway 77 is closed, and the right lane of southbound Broadway Extension is closed there at John Kilpatrick Turnpike. Speed limit reduced there in the area. Everything hanging on here here through the spring. Let's go ahead and take it live to one of our ODOT cams. This is I-40 and I-44 roadways looking good. Never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. Violent extremism is on the rise. A look at some alarming new numbers and what's behind the trend up next. President Biden taking his first trip to Asia since taking office, the first country he'll visit and what the leaders will be talking about. Details on that story, but first, let's take you outside. Harkins Brick Bricktown, camera at 511. We'll be right back. Keep it here. You're watching. Good day. Okay.